Today I want to show you how I paint my main army of Warhammer 40k, the Tau Empire. After I prime the whole miniature with Chaos Black, I base coat all the armor parts and the pulse rifle with Stegadon Scale Green. I try to avoid the clothes and all other parts. Also I do two thin coats for a nice solid color. After the base coat is dried, I use Nuln Oil to shade the recesses for more depth. If I end up with too much shade, I simply remove it with my brush. Next I use two layers of Sotac Green for a even and strong color. I try to keep a small gap to the recesses. This is how it looks so far. Now I am adding a highlight of Temple Guard Blue to all the edges. I do so by not using the tip, but the side of my brush. This makes edges a lot easier. With this, the armor is done. For the fabric, I use Eshin Grey as a base coat. I paint it on the trousers, arms, and the neck. Then I dry brush them with Celestra Grey. The contrast can be a little bit too much at the first moment, but by using contrast paint Basilicanum Grey instead of Null Oil, the colors will blend perfectly together. While the contrast paint is drying, I use War Boss Green and Wazdaka Red for some details, like the display on the arm. Next is Lead Belcher for all metallic parts. Followed again with Basilicanum Grey. This will darken the color more than Null Oil alone. The Tau symbol was painted with a layer of Celestra Grey, followed by Altuan Grey. This step needs to be extremely precise, to not let any color hit the recesses. I also use Celestra Grey for the set signs. In my case the armor color scheme is based on the second expansion, so two markings are required. I didn't like the thickness of the markings, so I cleaned them up with Sotek Green again. For the skin, I used the Space Wolves color palette with the Fang as base, Draconoff Nightshade as shade and Rust Grey and Fenrisian Grey layered on top. I used too much shade, so I drained it quickly with a clean brush before it creates ugly drips on the color. And this basically finishes the miniature. Now to the base. I started with a texture of Sterland Mud, before priming with Chaos Black. Now I dry brush Ashen Grey and Celestra Grey over the texture, followed by Null Oil to make the rocks look great. The Toxic Waste Pond gets a Caliban green base as always. Now I decided that a warrior in a wasteland would not be this clean after fighting. I used an old dry brush and dipped Typhus Corrosion over the legs. When I think it is too much dirt, I remove it with my finger and retry it a moment later. Back to the Toxic Waste which is made with two thick layers of Nurgle's Rot. Let the first one dry before adding the second one. And never try with your finger if the color is dried already, your fingerprints will be in the pond forever. Now I add some details, like a dead bush next to the warrior, to round up the whole scenery.
Last step is painting the base edge with Rhinox Hide. I do this as last step so I can see if a miniature is supposed to be finished. It often happens that I paint a miniature like 80% and then I have to let his rest for some weeks before coming back. So I know if the miniature was done or not. And this is how I paint my Tau Empire army. I hope you like the color scheme, but you can replace the Sotek green color palette with any other color palette you like. For example if you only change the turquoise colors with the Mephiston red color palette, you get the far side enclaves and with orange the standard Tau Empire. Just try other palettes and see how the aura of the army is changing. Thanks for watching.